Hey y'all, I'm T the Brand, Lash Brand Growth Specialist, and all that means is I help lash artists like you increase their clientele and grow their businesses through tailored and calculated strategies. Welcome to my channel. In this video, as you can see by the title, I'm going to show you guys how I do a hybrid set of lashes. Now, I no longer do classic and volume mix with my hybrid sets because let's be honest, clients want volume. And so I give them basically what's a light volume set so that they have the coverage that they need and the look that they love. Before we get into this video, if you haven't already, be sure to click the subscribe button. I promise you're going to learn learn a lot and love it here and you will definitely grow. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section and don't forget to turn on your bell notification button so that you're aware every time I share new valuable content. So let's get to it. Before I start a lash service, I always give my client a lash bath. Giving lash baths helps me because I don't want to work on unclean lashes and then working on freshly clean lashes helps the extension bond better to the natural lash and it also helps my clients maximize their attention. When I'm doing my lash baths, I always make sure to clean down on the natural lashes and then to clean the lash line. The lash line is usually where any crust or any um, leftover makeup usually sits. So I'm really um, thorough in making sure that the lash line is clean. And when I educate my clients on how to do their lash baths at home, I always stress to them to clean down on the extensions as well as clean their lash line. So I'm just gonna repeat this process on the other eye and then I'm gonna get her lashes dried, brushed out and ready to be taped down. Now that her natural lashes are clean, I go in and do my tape down. I've recently started using hydrogel pads again, but not to secure the bottom lashes. I only use the hydrogel pad, one, to help soothe my client's under eye, and two, make the tape removal process easier at the end of the service. So I don't use hydrogel pads to lay down bottom lashes because hydrogel pads, when you remove them after being so close to the lash line, any kind of um, tearing from the eyes, it creates this kind of rigid edge look um that was close by the eyes and whatever that ingredient is in a gel pad i don't ever want it to get into my client's eye and cause any type of irritation so as you can see the gel pad is placed far enough from the lash line but close enough to still be secured by the tape and help make the tape lifting and removal process easy when i tape down my client's lashes i always go from the outer corner to the middle to get those lashes down and then i take my second piece of tape and go from the inner corner to the middle if i happen to have any lashes that are you know just kind of straight and I didn't get them taped down then I'll just go back in with my next care tape and cover those up after my client has assured me that the tape is not irritating their eye it's time to map so during her consultation, she shared with me that she likes a cat eye. She showed me a picture of a strip lash look that she normally wears and it went from shortest length in the inner to longest length on the outer corner. So this w was easy breezy. Um, during the consultation, I also asked my clients how they like their length, short, medium, or long. And once they tell me which one they like, I show them lengths within that category and let them pick the longest length that I would like. As you can see, her longest length is going to be 18 millimeters and I believe I use the c-curl um, on her lashes and with me going up two millimeters for this cat eye that's because she just wanted a more kind of dramatic look but still very nice in cat eye so instead of going up one millimeter i took it up two between each section that i mapped off so now that I'm about to start lashing, I need to lift her natural lashes up just a little bit off of the tape so that I can see and isolate them better. So that is why I'm going in with my next care tape on the inner and outer corner of her eyes to gently and very lightly um, lift those lashes up off the bottom tape. You want to be careful when you're doing this because you don't want to have the client's eye open. You don't want their eyes to burn during the service and you don't want their eyes to be red afterwards. So always check to make sure that there's not a lot of opening happening of the eye when you're taping up on these um, lashes and if you don't have to tape the top lid then don't tape the top lid if you can see and move things properly without applying the tape then it's totally unnecessary to do and it's okay to not do it 
So now it is time to lash. And of course, I am using the Lash Artist Premium Choice Lashes from thelashsupply.com. These lashes come off the strip very easily and they fan out so smoothly. I've been using these lashes for about a year and a half, two years now from thelashsupply.com as well as their adhesive. And my baby is the Magic All Seasons Adhesive or the red one. So um, these lashes, and like I was saying, these lashes come off the strip super easy. They're easy to fan and they adjust really well when I'm applying them to my clients lashes if you would like to shop with the lash supply.com you can save some money by using code t10 and that's t-e-e-1-0 -E at checkout when you shop online you'll get 10% off your order and free shipping so back to the lashes everything is ready to go now we got the glue shaking tape down mapping and I am now starting my process with fanning and applying the lashes. One thing that I love about mapping my sets is I'm able to move throughout the eye freely without really having to worry about how things are going to turn out because I know where the lengths need to go on all parts of the eye. I also think that mapping helps me to lash a little bit faster. So if you're trying to increase your speed, try mapping your sets and working in sections. As you can see, I'm going through each section and I'm applying lashes there and it helps because the eye is filling up pretty quickly and I'm able to see where I need to put more lashes at in each section to make sure the set comes out right. Now, once I'm done lashing, I go through, brush the lashes, check for any stickies, and then I'll check to make sure the lashes look how I need them to look. So my client wants a hybrid. I had to make sure that they were hybriding and they were. So now it's time for me to move on to the next eye and get the lash set finished. And as you can see, I repeat the same process like so on the second eye as I did the first eye. Map, I mean, applying lashes in no particular order, but making sure that um, I'm able to see which sections need more lashes in what spots. And so, yeah, this is how I do my lashing process. Once the lashes are all done and I've checked for stickies and looked at the lashes with my lash mirror to make sure everything looks good, it is now time for me to secure the bag and go in with my super bonder. Bonder is used at the end of services and it helps you to one go ahead and dry your glue so that your clients aren't having to wait 24 hours before they can get their lashes wet or exposed them to steam and it also helps them to maximize retention i apply one to two drops per eye to a micro swab and i take that micro swab and i only apply the bonder to the bond of the lashes the bond of a lash is just where the extension connects to the natural lash so that's what i'm doing now going through the eye making sure that I'm applying it to all of the lashes and so that everything can be secured. I do this on both eyes and then I go in and dry the lashes. Now that everything is all dry, I'm going in, brushing the lashes, and I'm twirling the brush like this because any lashes that are not secure, I want those lashes to come off before she leaves so that she's not thinking her retention is bad and she's going to be losing lashes. Now I'm going in to just remove the next care tape that I was using to lift the lashes up off the lash line. I like using next care tape because it comes off really gentle. Um, it is hypoallergenic and it stays in place very well, um, but it also makes sure that there's no pain or no irritation when I'm removing it for my clients. I ordered this tape off of Amazon or I get it from a convenience store such as CVS or Walgreens. You can also find it cheaper at a Target or any type of grocery store compared to a convenience store. So once this tape is removed, I'm just going to go in, remove the bottom tape um, and make sure that nothing is stuck. Nothing is burning for my client. And now it's time to look at these lashes. that is just that on that this is how i now do my hybrid sets of lashes my clients love it i love it and that's all that matters especially if they love it again if you guys have any questions as i said in the intro drop them in the comment section i'm always happy to answer questions and engage with you guys like subscribe turn on your bell notification button so that you know every time i share new helpful valuable information y'all this is it for this video and i will see y'all in the next one